Minnesota, also known as the state of hockey. From high school to college to professional, hockey in Minnesota is something special. But what about backyard hockey? One community just a few miles outside of Hastings has taken their love for backyard hockey to the next level. This is Vermilion, host to the Vermilion Ice Hockey Tournament, which is celebrating its 10th anniversary this year. We met with Ross Brockman, tournament organizer, and a few others to tell us what makes this tournament so special. Oh, when, when the tournament started for us, it was, it was basically just our, uh, our friends. There's a bunch of us that come down here to play almost every night, and Ross sort of pitched the idea of, hey, what if we designated a day and did just a little tournament and we all split up on different teams? It was a way for everybody that plays at our local ice rink to get together and celebrate a great year and ultimately have some, some more competitive hockey, which I think is, is something that uh, a lot of our players kind of itched for. I feel like some of the local people that don't play in it, they kind of know about it now and they like to just go and observe even though they don't have any kids playing really. So that's fun that the town gets more into it now than when we first started. We've been drawing um, some people that aren't locals now. There'll be people that hear about it from St. Paul and Rochester and stuff like that. I like, I like to say that we probably uh, maybe double the population of Vermilion for a day, which is awesome. Ross and the tournament organizers strive to make the tournament feel like Vermilion hockey. Everybody has kind of their same rules of whatever ice, you know, whatever their ice rink or, or place they play follow and um, we just wanted our tournament to be as similar to any other night uh, if you went to Vermilion and, and jumped on the ice. It's another fun, we play with a tennis ball so for anyone who might be coming out but afraid you know getting hurt from a puck um, it's a tennis ball nobody really gets hurt. It's definitely not uh, your hockey puck uh, pushing people around checking type of hockey it's very uh, about speed and finesse. It's, it's Vermilion hockey. The best thing about this tournament is that you can be pretty much any age. You have to be over 14 with a parent permission. We've got some players that are nearing 40. Totally huge spectrum of talent level. So really, if you want to play, you're totally welcome to come play with us. And with every tournament comes a trophy. Um, when we decided to have a tournament, the, the trophy was the last minute idea. One of the guys that has been you know, instrumental in what Vermilion hockey is, he said that uh, I'm going to make a, a trophy. It's, I got a bunch of broken sticks and old pieces of skates. I, I'm going to make something. I'll weld it together. It's not going to be super pretty, but it's going to be ours, you know? And on tournament day, he showed up and uh, he said, I forgot. Between his games throughout the day, he was actually going back to his house and working on this project. And by the championship game that night, uh, we had what, what is now uh, the Castle Cup. With the creation of the Castle Cup, more memories were made alongside it. Uh, you know, I started the tournament in 2014, and uh, it took me about five years before I was really on a competitive team. By even taking the trophy on a world tour. We have rules at the tournament that once you win the trophy, you can't win it again. So um, the idea of taking it on a world tour was something that I, I had planned well before I won. During the time that I won uh, was actually during uh, when the Super Bowl was in Minneapolis, was able to... Uh, take it up there, take some really unique photos. Some of the, some of the other players were a little annoyed with me, uh, uh, messing up their timelines with all the photos, but uh, you only get it once and you gotta enjoy it. While many memories have already been made, Ross continues to push for growth for the tournament. The biggest way for people to um, get involved in the tournament is to come out to the ice rink uh, on non-tournament day. We're pretty proud of Vermilion Ice and, and what we're able to, to do in the park in Vermilion and um, that's, that's where people learn uh, about the tournament the most. Um, we do have a Facebook page too and, and uh, promote all kinds of stuff on there uh, throughout the year uh, leading up to the tournaments. We, we love to have uh, new people. It's been really awesome to share it with and hopefully continue to, to make it grow. Reporting for HCTV, I'm Hunter Pinky.